Hey guys, this is Coop from Garage Gym Reviews. And today we're gonna review the best pull-up bars. We bought, assembled, and tested all of the ones on the market. And today we're gonna tell you which ones are the best for your hard-earned dollars. Let's do it! Welcome to the Pull Up Kingdom! Today we are reviewing the best pull up bars on the market. Now, this is a category that we've gotten asked about a ton. We do roundups of the best fitness products, gym equipment you can think of. So, if you like that sort of thing, make sure you subscribe. If you like these pull up bar review, make sure you hit a like because it helps us out with the algorithm. And if you have others that you like beyond the ones that we've got, make sure you leave a comment so we can find it out, buy it, and then review it as well. But today I've got categories for the best pull up bars. Now, it'd be one thing for me to just come out and say, this is the best pull up bar. And I will do that based upon a variety of factors. But there are so many different instances that people are using pull-up bars in, whether that's just on a doorway in an apartment, when they're bolting to their garage wall, or when they want attached to their squat rack. So I wanna go through all of the best ones after using, assembling, testing, all the ones that are on the market. And there are a lot of them, and there is a lot of freaking crap, because it is a product category in which there's a lot of buyers, and they can make them for very cheap. But this is the thing to understand, you gotta have safety. And so we're gonna go through and talk about like the assembly process as well as the use process in addition to everything else. Outside of Olympic rings, I would say that pull-up bars are the best and ultimate upper bodybuilder that are out there for bodyweight exercises. So for many people, I suggest a pull-up bar. And most people, I'd probably suggest if you have the space, attaching one to a squat rack but because there's so many options out there and different styles of training, we need many options. So without further ado, I'm gonna start with my best overall pick for most people. Then I'm gonna go through my best doorway option. I'm gonna go through some of my best budget options. I'm gonna go through my best wall mounted multi-grip. I'm gonna go through the best options to attach to your squat rack. That way we cover all the bases for all of you that have requested this video. So without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, our first pick, after using the breadth of the ones that are available, for most people overall, I recommend the Titan wall mount pull-up bar. The reason I recommend the Titan wall mount pull-up bar is because it provides a good amount of features of what you'd expect from some of the higher end bars at a very good price point. This bad boy is less than $70 with free shipping. It's often even less than that because they have sales. But this one, there isn't that many distinguishable differences between ones that cost double of it from say Rogue Fitness like the Rogue P3 or the Rogue P4. This bar is great for the price. The reason it's great is because it's using powder coated steel, black powder coat, just like you'd find on most bars that are out there. It's nice and gritty. It's not as gritty as some of the other options that are out there. And I do prefer some of the bars that are on the other ones, but it does have the same modular system that allows you to daisy chain these together. So you can just go to the hardware store or buy other bars from Titan and you can just daisy chain as many of these as you want. I've seen a lot of CrossFit gyms do that, but if you just want multiple spaces to do pull-ups, this can work. It's also far enough from the wall that you can use it for both kipping muscle-ups, strict muscle-ups, as well as toes to bar, any CrossFit kipping pull-up movement you'd like to do, as well as having enough room that you can hang rings on it and do dips and rows and the like like that. It just offers really good features at a really good price point, which brings us to like the best value. Now, is this the one that's best for everyone? Probably not. There's other options that are out there. And the next category is one that we see a lot of people request because a lot of people like to put these inside and that is a doorway pull-up bar. Let's do it. All right, doorway pull-up bars are some of the most popular options because most people are using these in apartments or their homes. They wanna, don't wanna do anything permanent and these work great. The problem is there's a ton of crap. And one reason is because they're so cheap. These are the options we brought in amongst others that I've used, but we're not gonna do anything with those. This is the one that I recommend. This one is the perfect multi-gym pull-up bar. Just like our first pick, this one is great because it provides a good value with good features. Most of these are pretty similar. The problem you can run into 
is basically thin steel that can then break. I'm not gonna recommend anything that isn't safe. This is around 40, 45 bucks, depending on when you get it. You can check the links below the like button if you'd like to check them out. But this one uses higher quality components, even though it has foam grips, which I don't love, but it allows you to securely put it on the doorway. And you can also use it for other things like push-ups or sit-ups. But this is how it attaches. You throw it over the wall. You can also put a clip on the other side to help you really dial it in. This is a commercial door, so it's a little bit wide but it can still work on something like this. Once it's in there, it's secure, and you can do pull-ups. Both multi-grip, also wide, wider than that if you'd like, or close grip. But if you want something that's a little bit more secure than that, this next one is one that I actually have in my office because I like to hang a lot, but I found it really helpful for my back. So if it's something you'd like to do, I try to accumulate about five minutes a day. I found it helpful, like just tremendously. And the pull-up bar I use for that is the Rogue Jammer pull-up bar. Let me show you. This is the Rogue Jammer pull-up bar. This is basically designed to be the most durable and stable doorway pull-up bar there is. This is a permanent solution in that you bolt it to the wall so you can't just take it off, take it down very quickly but this is the most secure one that I found that's available. It uses their stringer component that they used on squat racks for years. It's very strong. It allows you to basically easily bolt it and find the studs. It also uses the socket pull-up bar component, which allows you to exchange the different pull-up bars you use. So you can use something like this that's knurled. They also have ones that aren't, aren't knurled, that are just smooth. They have ones that are Cerakoted. They have ones that are stainless steel. And this one that's powder coated, you can basically just run the gamut on the style that you want. I'm gonna sound kind of like wimpy here, but if I'm just wanting to hang for a while, I'm not really like, not really training, then I like something that's smoother. If I'm doing something like really strenuous and I wanna do like weighted pull-ups or something, then I like the neural just fine. If you want the best solution that's available for above your doorway, this is the one I recommend. Just understand it's made in the USA and it's gonna cost a little bit more than some of these other options that are out here. But what if you're like Coop, I do strength training, I basically want a pull-up bar that I'd find on a squat rack. I just don't have a squat rack. So I want something that has a multi-grip on it. I've got two options. They're over here. There's two different options for multi-grip pull-up bars that mount to a wall or either a ceiling that I recommend. This one is from Rep Fitness. Titan Fitness also has one. I prefer this one due to the cross member that's right here. It's just a more stable. There's this very thin. There's is cheaper, but not significantly. So the Rep Fitness one, I would recommend. I also prefer the powder coat. It's a little bit more grippy. The fit and finish is a little bit nicer and the price is still really dang good for a multi-grip option. In addition to that, it's not just neutral grip and parallel grip. They also have these grips that go across just like on their squat racks that just gives you more options for pulling. The other one is one I have at my house in the garage. It is a, it is a wall mount. It is a ceiling mount. It is a ceiling mount version of this. So it's a multi-grip pull-up bar because it's ceiling mounted, it has to flip the other way. The one thing I don't like about it is because it's flipped upside down, the handles aren't angled down for a comfortable grip. They're actually angled up. So it only gives you so much usable area right here. For my training, I don't find it to be an issue, but I could understand other people finding it. And the other thing is it is knurled. It's very passive and I like it. Just understand it's not smooth like these, so you may not be used to it. Okay, those are the wall mounted, doorway mounted options that are out there. There's a lot. And there are others I'd recommend you should look at. One, for example, is this Rogue P4 system. Their P4 and P3 system was really one of the original that we found in so many CrossFit home gyms, and it's a really good system. One thing I do like about this is they give multiple hole options. So you can put a bar here or a bar here. Their powder coat is also vastly superior to Titans, and this is made in the USA. Understand that you're gonna pay for the extra quality, so if you don't mind paying a little bit extra, this is better than our top pick, just for like its fit and finish, but Really, most people aren't gonna tell any difference between this one and the one that we recommend from Titan, and that's the reason I recommend it, because the price point is so good. But let's say you have a squat rack and you're like, Coop, you've had experience with pretty much all the pull-up bar options that are out there on squat racks. Which ones would you recommend? I've got a couple options. Let's go over to the garage. If you're buying a modular power rack, you're gonna have a lot of options for pull-up bars. It's one of the options that, like companies, they just put a ton in there, and there are a lot available. Most people, I think it's good to at least have one straight bar. You don't have to have it, but I know a lot of people, like you're gonna get by just fine with that and it's gonna provide extra rigidity for your rack. I think the best value pull-up bar that you can get from all the systems, which does vary company to company, but most every company offers this, is this one right here. This is a multi-grip pull-up bar. 
I like multi-grips because you can still use it with a straight bar, but it also allows you to do multi-grip. So it allows you to do neutral grip pull-up bars for multiple angles. Also allows you to just have more of a like pronated pull-up. It's good for chin-ups. This one in particular is from Rep and it offers a fat bar in addition to a 1.25 inch bar. I really like these. If you wanna go a little bit higher end, wanna be a little bit more bougie, there are other options. So Rogue has their socket pull-up bar, which I have a stainless neural version in mine. I really like that one. The RM43, Pull-up bar is okay, it's overpriced. I think there are better options out there, but it does have spinning knurled handles, which is nice. The Prime Rotate pull-up bar handle system, I absolutely love, but that's really on the far end. After using just the amount that are out there, I find myself just using this one most of all. But I think for most people, the multi-grip system, it's the one you're gonna find the most benefit from. Okay, now one unique option is this one from 1-2-Fit. This is unique in that it does hang on a wall off these hooks, but it allows you to have something similar to a power tower, but that just hooks on the wall and is very freaking cheap. It's like 120 bucks shipped. And so you can use it like this, which it would be like pull-ups for instance, also multi-grips. But then if you'd like, you can easily pick it up, flip it around, and then you can use it for dips or you can use it like hanging leg raises. It's very similar to power tower, much cheaper, takes up much less space. It's designed to be a budget option for somebody that's doing a lot of calisthenic, that type of training. And I think it works. It also has these hooks that you can attach rings to. Like this isn't the type of training or type of equipment I'm using a ton, but I understand there's a ton of people out there that are looking for budget options that allow them to do a lot of different things in a small space. And if you're okay bolting into your wall, I think this is actually a decent option. So we'll put the link below the like button if you'd like to check it out. Now there is one product category within pull-up bars that I haven't spent a ton of time on, and that is power towers. By and large, I don't recommend power towers. I think there are better options out there like a squat rack that you can attach a dip stand to. They don't take up much more space, they don't cost a lot more, and they're just way more versatile. But there are people out there that are like, I wanna know the best power tower that is out there. A power tower is basically a unit that allows you to do two things. There can be more, but two things specifically, which is dips, and pull-ups. You can also use them for different ab movements. This one, for instance, can be used for box jumps and just different things that have a platform. I'm not a huge fan of them because the cost of them. This one is like 340 bucks. You can get a freaking great power rack or squat rack with attachments for a similar price as that. If you're on the cheap end, you're like, I just want a budget power tower. I know I want a power tower. I know I want to use it for dips. I want to use it for leg raises. I want to use it for pull-ups. This would be the one I recommend. I'm again, like I'm kind of even worried recommending this because I think there's so many better ways to spend your money, but this is like 180 bucks. You're gonna have to assemble it. It does feel a lot like an Ikea assembly because it just comes in a box and it's all packed in as tightly as possible. The foam's not great. I mean, it's just like, you really gotta want one of these to get one. And for the price, this would be the one I'd get. But again, for most people, I'd recommend either a dedicated pull-up bar first or beyond that, a power rack or squat rack, squat stand, you're gonna have much better value for the price. Okay, there's your options for pull-up bars. There are a ton that you can find online, but after using them, having our team test them, after seeing the options, basically creating spreadsheets on the prices of all of them along with the features, these are the ones we'd recommend. Do you agree? Are there some out there that you use that you like maybe better than these? This is kind of a unique product category in that even though you have a garage gym, you don't necessarily have a dedicated pull-up bar on the wall. Many people have them on squat racks, but I can see their use for them. And even though I have a squat rack, I also have a dedicated one because it's just a nice place to have somewhere else to do pull-ups while I'm using my rack. Let me know in the comments which ones you like. This is Coop from Garage Gym Reviews. If you'd like to see more of these, make sure you subscribe because we have others coming out on other product categories as well. We'll see you next time.